Hi there, my name is Ron Rogers, and this presentation is titled Overconfidence in Fly-By-Wire Protections, First Fatal A320 Crash, 26 June 1988. Now, I had first flown the Airbus A320 in flight test back in 27 February of 87. And as I mentioned in a previous video, I was really kind of taken aback by the arrogance and overconfidence of the Airbus test pilot, basically telling me that they had built, because of the protections and the flight control laws, they had built an aircraft that could not be crashed. And I'm going, no, 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 no. Uh, I don't think it's possible to build an aircraft that some pilot won't figure out a way to crash. Now, I, I know a fair amount about arrogance. I was a fighter pilot, so if you want to talk about arrogant people, those are fighter pilots, test pilots to a certain extent too. But um, their overconfidence in this system kind of amazed me. And I mean, it's it's a great it's a great marketing point, which is what they're doing. Yeah, we build an aircraft that you can't crash. Monkeys could fly this airplane, yada, yada, yada. Well, this is what um, they base this whole kind of concept on. Alpha Floor. Alpha Floor was going to protect you because basically all you needed to do is pull the stick full back and you got full performance and full thrust. And that's great. If you're getting into a, a possible collision with train, man, you pull that stick full back and you got the best performance. Um, I've done Alpha Floor many times on the Airbus aircraft in flight test activities. Um, I had the A340 at the maximum certified altitude and pulled it back into the corner. And it started to climb. The engines came in. And then, of course, couldn't maintain it uh, since we were above the certified uh, altitude. And it started to descend. But the aircraft was completely uh, controllable. I mean, the system works great. But like everything, all these systems have kind of little gotchas that you have to know. And of course, um, you have to at one point disable alpha floor because you have to be able to land the aircraft. You don't want to get the uh, the pitch up high and all of a sudden the aircraft goes, oh my gosh, we're in alpha floor, uh, we're in alpha protection, and we're going to do a go-around. You could never land the aircraft. So that's when you disable it. Well, when do you disable it? Well, I'll talk about that in a second. And that's what got these guys into trouble. Now, this flight was going to be at the Mulhouse Habershein Airfield at the Habershein Air uh, Show. Now, this was the first uh, passenger flight, and those on board were journalists and people who had won a raffle competition. And it included several unaccompanied children uh, that had actually never even previously been on, uh, on an airplane. And they were going to do this um, air show performance with uh, passengers on board. Okay, that's the first mistake there. The second uh, mistake is that they never practiced this. Now, the guy was supposedly a um, competent pilot. He was one of the, uh, the training pilots. But you got to practice an air show maneuver. Any air show pilot will tell you, you know, you got to practice it. And you, you don't want surprises. And you practice what you're going to do. And then you fly what you practice. It's just like the air show uh, circuit. You do not deviate from the air show profile and you do not deviate from your test card as a test pilot. And that got them into trouble. All right, now here was the plan. They were going to make a low pass uh, over runway 02, uh, climb up, turn back, and repeat the low pass over runway 20, the reciprocal. And uh, then they're going to go on a sightseeing tour to Mount uh, Block, and then the passengers would return. Well, it didn't quite work out that way. They uh, noticed approaching the airfield that the people weren't lined up around runway uh, 0220. They were lined up on 34 right. So they go, okay, we're going to have to go to 34 right. Now, the crew is not familiar with this airport. Okay, they're, they're doing a demonstration and they're not familiar with the airport. They haven't checked it out. You know, the, the Thunderbirds and the Blue Angels, they send in a survey team before to kind of check everything out uh, to make sure, you know, there aren't obstacles, considerations, obstructions, things you want to be aware of. And then they, they fly it, of course, uh, to do kind of a survey. Um, and this was just, you know, these guys obviously weren't Thunderbirds. So uh, they saw that, well, they're lined up that way. So we'll just come in and uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll fly down to, uh, three, four right there. Well, uh, there was some forestry at the end of three, four right. And they're speculating that it looked more like uh, uh, just kind of grass rather than trees. And these guys didn't uh, realize it that uh, when they got close that, that, that there were trees at the end. 
Now, uh, part of the deal was alpha floor uh, protection is disabled below 100 feet because it assumes you're going to land. And I'll talk about that in uh, just a minute. So uh, instead of coming over to 100 feet, these guys got down to 30 feet. They were low and the alpha floor was disabled. Well, the captain felt that, you know, all they had to do was pull the stick back and uh, alpha floor would uh, save them if they got into trouble. And so they were doing a low speed pass to demonstrate to everybody at the air show just how great uh, the performance was. Well, unfortunately, being at a low altitude like this, not really uh, uh, understanding where the trees were, they ended up doing a very nice approach and landing into the trees. Now, there were uh, three people that uh, died in this accident. Um, there was uh, 136 passengers on board, uh, and uh, they all survived the initial impact. Uh, three died of smoke inhalation from the subsequent fire. A quadriplegic boy in seat 4F, a seven-year-old in seat 8C, trapped by her seat being pushed forward. And a lot of people uh, mentioned that, you know, when you, when you come and land in trees, you get kind of a sudden stop. And they were getting, they were a little bit dazed. The people were dazed because they, uh, they banged their heads into the, uh, the seats in front of them. And the girl was struggling to open up her seat belt. Um, she had a partner that, um, uh, uh had reached the exit. Uh, but then, uh, an individual turned back around to try to help the seven year old. And these people died of smoke inhalations. One of the other things that's interesting about this is uh and it doesn't quite show it in the picture because of course the uh, the trees have been moved away but they tried to open uh the uh exit door and it was blocked by the tree so that required uh, quite a bit of effort uh to get out of the aircraft but uh, fortunately um they only lost three people if you can if you can say that's fortunate now, fly-by-wire protections, high angle of attack. Okay, you've got the first one here, the left VLS. That's the approach speed. Okay, well, if you kind of screw up and get below that, you're commanding it. Well, you get alpha protection. That's now where uh, the stick input is converted into angle of attack. Well, if that goes bad and you keep pulling, then you get into alpha floor where toga thrust, that's takeoff go around thrust, is automatically applied by the auto thrust system. And then alpha max is the angle reach if full aft stick. Well, this is this is good. I mean, the airplane performs well. You pull it back, you get alpha max. Oh, the thing is impressive. It climbs out. However, if you're down low, below 100 feet, it thinks you want to land. And of course, when you're in normal law, not um, alternate law or uh, what they call manual law, when you're in normal law, you should never be able to stall the aircraft. And of course, I have stalled all the Airbus aircraft in flight tests, but we had to come out of normal law to do it. So they've got the protections, the aerodynamic protections. Um, and the interesting thing about it is... Um, they have three energy features. Uh, the auto throttle is active in the speed mode, preventing the speed from dropping below your approach speed. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the low energy warning, uh, this wasn't added at the time. This did not exist at the time. They never got a speed speed warning uh, that, they were getting, uh, that they were getting slow. And, of course, the alpha floor protection comes in, selects toga thrust, uh, when you reach alpha floor. But you got to be 100, above 100 feet. Okay, because of this accident, they added in the low energy audio warnings that had not existed before. And of course, this is what the pilot did. He did a very nice uh, tree landing when he thought that alpha floor was going to protect him. And, uh, you know, it, it takes five to eight seconds for the engines to come up to speed. And there's a lot of time spent in getting the compressor up to speed where it's developing thrust. As anybody who's familiar with these engines know that you spend a lot of time uh, coming up, the RPM increasing, and you have very, very little thrust increase until you get that last little bit. You know, if you jam a throttle, you can the engines will come up, they'll come up, and then they'll finally kick in when you get the thrust. So, okay, you're coming in to land, either runway or trees in this case, and the, uh, the THS stops, that's the trimming horizontal stabilizer when you get to 100 feet. And now you got static stability augmentation. Uh, that's just where, um, you know, you, you, you sit there and, and you've gone into flare law 
where um, supposedly you you are prevented from over controlling the aircraft. And uh, this is one of my books that was on the 330, 340 they published, uh, the later aircraft. So 50 feet radio, radio altitude, you get into where you, uh, you get into flare law. And then uh, you get a little pitch rate damping, which is supposed to help you. Uh, and you get uh, flare law into ground law progressively. Well, of course, what they did was um, they, uh, they were low, so uh, the um, alpha floor uh, protection was disabled. The aircraft uh, doesn't know it's landing in trees, and that's what it, exactly what it did. It, it landed very successfully in the trees. And early on in the program, this was the first uh, unfortunate demonstration that this aircraft isn't quite as foolproof as Airbus um, was letting it on. And of course, this is one of a number of accidents that I'm going to talk about. This is the first, but there are a number of accidents where progressively um, took away uh, what I called the arrogance of Airbus in building what they thought was an uncrashable aircraft. Now, in 1996, the captain, the first officer, two Air France officials, and the president of the Flying Club sponsoring the air show were all charged with involuntary manslaughter. In 1997, all five were found uh, guilty. I remember this was kind of an interesting time around Airbus with this uh, trial going on and uh, this uh, these uh, the threats of jail time going on. Now, um, the captain was, uh, was sentenced initially to six months prison with 12 months of probation. Um, nobody else uh, served any actual prison time. They all received suspended sentences. But the captain decided to appeal his sentence because he contended that the engines were defective, that the flight control system was defective, and it wasn't his fault. Well, okay, he appealed it to France's highest court, and in 1998, uh, his uh, appeal was rejected and his sentence was increased to 10 months of imprisonment along with uh, 10 months of probation. So this was the first of the accidents of what I call uh, holes in the protection system being brought to light. It certainly wasn't the last. Um, I've got a number of other accidents I'm going to uh, talk about here and the protection features that uh, didn't end up protecting the crew um, as Airbus had sort of um, stipulated it would. So I'm going to cover those accidents in also future presentations. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting and informative and talk to you later.